Hi, I'm Olivia, and today I'm going to be interviewing my exes. Ugh. What is happening? Hi, I'm Dominic. I'm 5'10", uh, and I'm based out of Los Angeles. Oh my god. Olivia, what is happening here, dude? I thought that I was freaking auditioning. Oh, you thought this was an audition? I, I don't know. I just, I wake up, I get an email to go somewhere. I assume I'm gonna somehow make some money. Hi. You don't remember my name? Well, that's probably because I am wearing my current human form. I am Q-Man. Can I ask you some questions? You may ask all the questions you'd like. Jupiter. <laughs> Dude. Hello. <laughs> it's me, famous actor Sam Lerner. These are his clothes. I mean, uh, your These clothes. These are my clothes. Yeah, your clothes. Awesome clothes. <laughs> it's me, Shane. <laughs> Obviously. Can't you tell? <laughs> Didn't know I dated you. Yep, you did. What initially attracted you to me? We were at a party in the Hollywood Hills, and I asked you if you were in line for the bathroom, and then you said, you are onion. And uh, I was just like instantly fully erect for some reason. Uh, no one's like ever called me out like that. Yeah. You know? And then you said. And I was like, I guess I'm onion, and you yes, must you be are. sour cream, because... Sour cream and onion. Yeah, my favorite ladies. Well, I was hired by Titus Abersax of the House of Abersax, the leading family dynasty in the galaxy. Yo. I was once a soldier. You're exactly what made me fall in love with you. That's right. My really stupid friend Shane told me about you. Um, after Shane set us up, we were at a grocery store at one point and you were putting grapes in your shoes and stomping. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and you said, I'm making wine for later. Yeah. Lo and behold, two years later, you emptied those shoes and you had an incredible Cabernet Sauvignon. I think it was um, the way that you looked so small next to my biceps. <laughs> and when I would hold you, it was just like, it made me feel really big next to your small body. <laughs> also made me feel way smarter than you. <laughs> because I'm super smart. <laughs> what was your favorite memory of us? Oh, okay, so we were on a road trip to Erwan. You showed me celery juice, and it was the most disgusting piece of shit, like Ninja Turtle sewer slime crap. But you cared about it. So I cared about it. Yeah, that shit will clean you out. As someone who refuses to wash their ass, like, that just really does it. So thank you. It's basically a bidet. Just drink celery juice. You can quote me on that. Do you remember the time that you were working as just a mere housekeeper <laughs> and you needed to pay bills so you were going to sell your eggs? <laughs> it turned out those doctors were actually alien keepers there to kill you. I saved you barely using my skates where I could fly through the air. Probably the first time we went to the Italian coast and we rented Vespas. We got the biggest baguettes we could find and we just drove around. We drove around just hitting mailboxes and eventually we squared up and we, it's called Italian jousting. Did anyone recognize you? Yeah. Yeah? They were speaking Italian, so I didn't understand it, but I could tell. It'd be like a bunch of Italian, they'd be like, da -da, da -da, Monster House! Yeah, yeah. Because I was in Monster House. Yeah. I was the voice of Chowder. Like, I was on Rizzoli and Isles, uh, <laughs> Harry's Law. I was on an episode of Malcolm in the Middle. You think you're really cool because you're on t TV? Well, I mean, I know I'm cool. Like, I see the internet every day, and they're talking about hot boy Sam Lerner. Favorite memory of us was probably introducing you to Sam. What? I don't know, I just really liked that guy. It was just really cool to introduce you to someone that like way cooler than me. <laughs> Significantly cooler. Why did we break up? I didn't think you wanted to talk about this with cameras around, but okay. Uh, we were hooking up and I did what you like, I thought, which was like, I grabbed your boob and said, honk honk. And you got pissed because, and I understand because you prefer more like a 
And like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I did the wrong thing and it really upset you and I just knew I could never recover from that sexually. Uh, so I had to just leave. <laughs> I've been practicing though. We did physically break up when Titus captured us and spaced me. He threw me out the airlock into space. Titus saxophone? No, Titus Abrasax. Oh, sorry. You see, you are genetically the same as the matriarch of the Abrasax family, and you own title to all of Earth. What in the star f this Trek is This is real, happening? these are real stories. We were eating at Nobu, obviously, and the waiter asked us if we wanted sashimi or wagyu beef. We just kept debating back and forth. You were like, sashimi, I was like, wagyu beef, sashimi, wagyu beef. And you were like, you never listen to what I say or care about my opinion. And I just said, you're just jealous of me because I was in Project Almanac. And everybody in the whole restaurant stared at us. Kevin Durant was at the next table. We were like, fine, you can have your wagyu beef. And you left me there, but luckily, Timothy Chalamet was there, my buddy, so. We hopped on his two-seater bicycle, <laughs> we rode back home. We broke up because I was so busy with all my schooling, because I'm never not learning something new. I'm always taking a new class, so there was no time for us because I was just either at the gym or then taking a class. Do you even like acting? I try, I'm not great at it, but I try. I mean, I try, I try to fit it in. That's, that's why we didn't work out, because I have such a packed schedule. Did you keep any secrets from me when we were together? I know about the spaceship, okay. No, no, did you keep secrets from me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you said it in a way like assuming that I kept the secret that I knew your secret about. This is like crazy gaslighting right now. No, it's not. I know about your spaceship, okay? My secret is that I kept my okay. secret that your secret that I knew your don't secret. Don't, 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 don't talk don't about the spaceship? No. Can I be completely candid with you? Yes. I don't think you're a good actress. You were okay in that 70s show, and that's about it. All right, am I Mila Kunis? You are Jupiter. I've been secretly trying to get Shane fired from the Goldbergs <laughs> for the past five years. Every day, I give him a fake script that I write out the night before. None of the lines are real. None of the characters are even named correctly. He thinks my character's name is Jim Shorts. You're evil. No, this is acting. I'm A-list. Shane, he's... Not even on the alphabet. I may have <laughs> had sex with Sam. What? <laughs> well, actually he had sex with me, obviously. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> such a top. <laughs> Ironic, <laughs> I'm a top, but he's really the top. <laughs> you both cheated on me, in a way. Yeah. Wait, what, Sam cheated on you? Oh, with Shane. Well, that was before you guys. With me. I'm Shane. <laughs> That was before you guys got together. Okay, well, if you had the last word, what would you say? It like always gets me. Stream Jupiter Ascending on HBO Max, or probably anywhere. I knew it. I knew it. My last word is really more of a question. Okay. Will you take me back? It's gonna be a big no for me. <sighs> oh my God. I gotta call my best friend, LeBron James. I gotta call him. LeBron, she's not gonna take me back. What do I do, LeBron? It would be. <clears throat> that would be it. A push up? Just a push up. Okay, enough! <laughs> enough of this! <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> it's me! <laughs> Legend Sam Lerner, I'm back. <laughs> Olivia, don't waste your time with this idiot. I have a question for you both. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Can I stand too? Okay, here's my last question for you both. Okay. Goldbergs or me? I All would choose Goldbergs. you because the Goldbergs is Sam's show. You know. Right. I'm like it's much more it's minute. much more difficult for me. He's hardly on it and when he's when he's there yeah. he has like one line. Yeah. And one they line. usually cut it. And yeah, they cut it because he's not I'm not great. Stuff. I choose you. That's why the fans have always shipped us, Liv. Me and you. You're making this really awkward for all of us. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> me and Shane. Me and me. <laughs> yeah, he's just here being a dumb idiot. Can you guys like make up? Because this makes me feel bad. Honestly, I think I've resented you all this time, Shane, because I love you. We don't need Olivia. We have each we other. Do. I don't think we do. Your loss. We're out. See you later. Peace. Whatever. 
Okay. Just two hot boy actors. I just, I, did, I, did I just get double dumped? You got double dumped. <laughs> you did. Hey guys, um, just got dumped by my ex. Is that even possible? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching me be uncomfortable. I have to go home um, on my spaceship <laughs> back to Titus. Who do you guys want to see do the next ex interview? I don't know, maybe Shane or Sam. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Help.